Hello again. Um, hopefully you've seen the first time when we've done the twin mix of some hotline mortars. Um, I was a little bit disappointed that it didn't mix um, very rapidly. So we're going to do another one now. And we've already done one so it's had time to uh, cook properly. And I got into trouble with my wife for not having safety specs on. So I'm going to wear them this time. So exactly the same again. Our mix of um, sand and stone dust measured out. So we put in four measures. No, we put in three and four measures into the bin. And the sand is slightly wetter this time, which is partly what the problem was. The mix did work out well once it was left a little bit longer. We were just in a rush to uh, make it good, look good on the camera, which didn't work. So there we are, we have the hole. We put our bit of pipe in the middle. Cap it off. Put our measure of quick line Minding we don't breathe the dust in. And we cover that over. Like so. Stack that up round the side, get our one and a half measures of water, slightly more this time, and pour it in there all in one go as quickly as possible. Make sure we've got the lid ready to go. That's to make sure that the water gets all the way down into the bottom of the quick line. That's good. Lid ready. That's a bit better. There we go. And we put the lid on. That's a much better reaction, that's what I was hoping for yesterday. We found that the metal lids on the dust bins don't seal very well and the water drains runs off out the sides. So you need either a plastic lid or a board to put over the top. And whilst that's cooking, here's one that I've done literally 20 minutes ago, and you can see that's swelled up and popped quite nicely. And it's blowing bits of quick lime up through. Uh, but those all started off at about 4 mil, so they've already started expanding. They look like lumps of gravel, but they're already soft. Alright, and it's nice and hot, but you want a little bit of water just on the top and again we mix from the top down because we don't want to let the heat out too quickly we want to keep it trapped under the wet mortar now i'm just going to put a little drop more water on there but again not too much because we don't want to chill it we want that heat retained in there whilst it's mixing
So that the temperature gets over 100 degrees and this time we've got a mix that's ready to use straight away they are lovely and sticky as well right okay and that's it thank you and thank you to james for camera work <laughs>